In this video, I'm going to explain what the red, yellow and green buttons do on your Mac. So let's bring up a Safari window. And as you can see at the top here, the red, yellow and green symbols. The red symbol is to simply X the program away and clicking this will close down Safari. Now let's bring back up Safari and the second button, the yellow button, is the minimize button. You simply click this and it will minimize Safari or whichever program you're using. And as you can see, it minimizes it onto the desktop here. And you can click it back to bring it back up onto the main menu. Something to keep in mind is when you do minimize the window, you do not have to click it here on the dock. You can also click the Safari window itself and it'll bring Safari back up like so. Now the last circle, the green circle, has a few more options than the first two. So when you hover over, you can see here, enter full screen. To click this, you'll put the program that you're using, in this case Safari, in full screen. Now as you can see, the icons at the top and the bottom have disappeared. Hovering over the bottom will bring up the dock. Also, you can use four fingers on your trackpad if you're using a MacBook or a trackpad and swipe them upwards and it'll bring this window here so you can access the dock or any other program. And also, you can see that there's no Mac menu bar and to access this, you want to hover over the top and then this will bring up the menu bar. And you can simply hover over the green and then exit full screen. Also, on the green circle, you can hover over again and you can tile window to left or right. So let's tile it to the left and this is split screen. However, I have a full in-depth video on split screen. If you want to check that out, check that here. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please hit the like button below, consider subscribing and thank you for watching.